find the InDesign Graphs template on Orla. Go to your Mapping the Fashion Buying Unit. Go to the Class Material. Scroll down, you'll see one that says Creating Graphs in InDesign. And along with written tutorials, there's also an InDesign template here. You can just click Download, then find where it's saved and open up an in InDesign. Once you've found where it's downloaded to, you can open up an in InDesign and you should get a document that looks like this. You can then get one of your arrows. Make sure you select over the whole diagram and you can copy it. And paste it into your project and then start using it. So here's what a price style matrix looks like. Basically on here what you want to illustrate is for example something like if you're researching a brand say for example Topshop and you want to work out where their competitors are you place all their logos onto the graph onto the diagram in accordance to how much their their value is high price low price and then classic and and how fashionable they are. So first of all, what you want to do is go and find some of the logos of the chosen brand and their competitors and save them to a folder. So for example, you want to go to the internet, search for something like the Topshop logo, go to images, and then you can just pull them off, ones that you find that are appropriate. So save your brand's logo and lots of their competitors into a folder. Make sure it's where all your images are saved for the rest of your project. Remember, if you delete them or lose them, they won't appear if you open it later on. And then you eventually want to go back to your diagram and start finding these images. And place them onto the diagram. You can move them around in accordance to their price and how fashionable they are. So eventually you should have lots of logos on. Again, you can just move them around, reposition them to where you think they should be. Then you find the brand that you're looking at. And then you can see the brands around it are what you've identified as, as main competitors as they're in a similar price range and a similar position in terms of um, what they're offering. So you can just add a circle here. So you go to the tool here, yours might be a rectangle. Get the ellipse tool. Then again, you want to make sure that the outline is black or whatever color that you want and that there's no fill inside if there's a color here you just want to click that just to make sure that it's a it the, the circle is essentially empty so for example when I draw it on here it's not being filled in by a color you can thicken it up with the stroke change the type and change the color if you wish and that's your completed price style matrix graph. This is the price brand matrix. So depending on what you're wanting to illustrate this graph on this graph, you can use it for various different things. For example, if you were looking at Topshop and you wanted to measure the different entry and exit prices of various different product categories in store, you'd want to put all the product categories here. So for example, Maybe I want to look at jackets, tops, blouses, trousers, and perhaps skirts. You can just put in text boxes. You might want to make sure they're all perfectly aligned. So for example here, then you want to get your align palette open. And they show you the various different things that they do here. So for example, I want to align all my right edges. Then I also want to distribute them evenly so there's the same gaps. So you can see there, if I pull one apart, you can see a bit more in detail how it just makes them all line up properly. And obviously make sure they obviously line up with the line because it makes it easier to, to see what you're illustrating. So for example, if the jacket's in store, I've noticed that the cheapest one is maybe $25.99. I can just edit this price box here. And maybe I know the most expensive one is £80. What I then want to do is make sure this line illustrates that. So I know 25.99 is approximately about here. So I just want to pull using the, obviously the black arrowhead, pull this side in to approximately where it's about 25 pounds. And then I know that 80 is over here. So I want to pull that over here. So you're literally just dragging the ends out using obviously the black arrow. You can then just get your text box 
and move it above each one. You then want to do that with each of the other product categories. So again, just editing the amounts of the entry and exit price of each product category. Now, if you were looking at a brand, for example, like Mulberry, where the entry and exit prices of their um, lines are a lot more expensive, then obviously you don't want to go up in sets of 10. So you might want, for example, the top price to be a thousand pounds, possibly more. So then you'd want to go up in amounts of 100. For example, you might want to go up in rates of 50. You literally just click on the text boxes using the text tool and edit it accordingly. So that's up to you to make that decision. And then you'll have your completed graph. In other occasions, you might use this graph to measure competitors. So in this instance, you might want to see what the general entry and exit price of, for example, maybe jackets are in five different retailers. So then you might want to put the logos of your retailers just like you've done with the previous graph. And in the same way, you just drag and drop the line in accordance to all your findings. So there's various different ways you can use these graphs. It just depends what in your particular brief or marketing report you need to use it for. So finally, we have the psychographic profile graph. So again, you can just select it all and copy and paste it into your document. And here you might want to illustrate various different things. So this is basically the majority of like consumers. So 2.5% of consumers fit into what we call innovators, 13.5% into what we call early adopters of trends, early majority, late majority, and then people that are lagging that catch on to trends later on. So you don't ever need to change kind of the core or the base of the graph, it is what it is. What you basically want to do is maybe plot where your consumer for a retailer sits, where consumer profiles that you've made up sit. So say for example, with the top shop consumer, I think that they're generally people that are kind of quite fashionable, maybe in the early majority, they're not as they're not innovators in fashion, they're not necessarily early adopters. I probably feel they sit around here. So I want to get the straight line tool, which is literally this little diagonal tool here. Click on it. And then as you can see, it draws a straight line. Obviously you want it to be straight. So if you hold down shift, you can see it keeps it straight. Let go of the mouse and then shift, you've got the straight line. And then for example, you might want to give it a color. So you can open up swatches going into color, swatches over here and you get a few different colors up. I'm gonna put mine as a bright pink so it stands out nicely. Again, you can move it again using your black arrow afterwards to where it might sit. So I think probably about here. And then again, depending on what your graph is illustrating. So for example, you can use this graph for lots of different things. You might want to put either your consumer profile or perhaps the Topshop consumer, whatever it is that you're um, illustrating here. And then remember, keep fonts and things similar to your project report. So you can change the fonts in here, but certainly like things that you're plotting, you should change to be the font that you're using within your project. So that's your completed psychographic profile graph. You can find out more information about all the skills that you need to have for InDesign in the manual that's available on Aula at the moment. It's got a full contents page, mentioning all about the different graphs that you need to do. And as you scroll through, you can see it's got it covers all the information of how to draw these graphs from scratch should you wish to an InDesign as well. You can find this worksheet on Aula. Go into your International Fashion and Trend Forecasting, go down to InDesign Resources, and you'll find it here. You can either view it on screen or click at the bottom to download.